Here's my bug out bag. Made a few additions. There's my hat. Keep it stored right there. There's uh, shelves. I keep it stored under there. Butt packs right there. It's uh, under my tent and that. So, here it is with the gun actually in the main compartment. I think I'm going to buy a uh, hunting backpack. That way I have the run through pocket for my rifle and it won't stick up. Uh, nearly as much so that's what I'm thinking but right now um, I have this through this Y compression strap on the bag and then this carabiner that I normally have right here I have the two zippers uh, because I don't want the weight of the gun to uh, open up the zipper so that keeps them together um, some additions I made um, this butt pack First aid kit, stoves. I still gotta get stuff, but this is just a little update video. So uh, let me go over what's in the butt pack real quick. Uh, on the outside, we have a diamond rod sharpener, and this is a pen. I have a red sharpie and a mechanical pencil. And on this little carabiner, I have some ranger tracking beads I made myself. So that's why there's odd colored beads. It's just whatever I had in the house. In this pocket here, this is uh, just a uh, snug pack response pack. Um, not bad. So in here, sorry about that, I had to unzip it. I've pretty much filled this thing to the max. This thing's at 7.2 ounces, or a pound, sorry, 7.2 pounds. I got some uh, orange duct tape here, or this isn't duct tape, it's trail tape. And I have three ranger bands on that. Animal tracking chart. Some tin foil. Can never have enough of that. The emergency poncho. And a uh, MRE hot beverage bag. That I would use mostly uh, for measuring things out for food. Uh, water. And that's why I have that. It's like a portable little measuring cup. Uh, I got some, uh, some chapstick, um, blast match, one of the, I think this is like one of three fire starters, uh, one of my survival kit, and this, it's a good size, and then one in my knife that I made a kit for, but I need to order the, another knife uh, dedicated to the kit, SAS survival guide. Tinder. Uh, it's not my desk. It sucks. Don't waste your money on it. Cotton balls. Uh, portable fishing kit. I have a video on that. Got some cordage. Some duct tape. Repair kit with more uh, gorilla tape and needle and thread. Uh, pockets. Uh, stone sharpener. Tactical folder. This is a Camellus Carbo Tri Titanium Blade. There you go, that actually just hit the bag zipper. Love the belly and I love that actual blade shape. Made of OS 8 and it's a frame lock. Which uh, I like pretty strong and a uh, legal pad can get and I wrote down uh, um, the decomp de declination and uh, some instructions because I have two compasses in here uh, I can give one to somebody and tell them how to confiscate for this and uh, obviously they have some instructions for it okay Moving on to uh, the side compartment. What fire tinder? Um, some earbuds. What well, earplugs? I just call them earbuds. Uh, this is a uh, backup flashlight. Batteries for it. This is a uh, either I'm biking out, or taking it with me, so I just have a. 
some snare wire in here and some lifeboat matches and stuff just to fill up the space in there. Here's uh, my second compass. It's just a little brunton. In fact, um, it has a little signal mirror in there because it does have the peephole. Here's uh, my lincetic compass, which has a magnifying glass on it. So this doubles as a signaling device, and this doubles as a fire starter. And of course, I have a headlamp in here. Moving on to the other side. I threw in some uh, uh, vacuum-sealed lifeboat matches. It's got the uh, little striking pad in there. I've got a uh, small Gerber folding uh, blade. I think I paid like five bucks for this at a gas station, so that was cool. Pellets. These are, uh, this is 275 rounds of uh, Gamo hunting pellets. I added in a few extra. And then I have these ones here, which are, um, Gamo red fire pellets with some uh, cleaning pellets. Bit kit. I wanted tools, but I wanted them to be lightweight. So, bit kit. Of course, for Leatherman Wave. And uh, let's go into the main compartment next. Time to go into uh, the main compartment. Walkie talkie. Uh, zip ties, safety glasses with uh, eyeglass cleaner, some smaller safety uh, or uh, zip ties. Got my uh, folding Gerber. Beanie cap. Updated uh, to up this survival kit. It was once my main survival kit. Threw in a signal mirror in here, but um, I duplicated it. So, you know, I bought another tin and duplicated the kit. So, I threw the uh, that one in there. I have some bright cordage, just a few feet of that. Air ties, hand sanitizer, uh, I'm going to speed this up a little, um, some uh, tissues, so uh, I'll be, this is worn as a butt pack but in the front so I have quick to get to uh, hygiene products, some uh, light sticks, some working gloves, these have the full leather pommel. Okay, but I wanted one pair of gloves. I didn't want a pair of tactical gloves and a pair of uh, leather gloves. So I just went with these. Wells made by uh, Wells Lamont. Have uh, some electrical tape. I wrapped too tightly against a little plastic, so that's ended up what hap what happened. But uh, still works, still good. Two bandanas. One's a uh, topographical map, the other one's just a regular bandana. That's it for the butt pack, so uh, let's go through what I've done for uh, the main pack.